Tell us how the cloud is transforming the way we work and the way we live. I would say a couple of things. One, with the availability, and I'll call it even the, the coming ubiquity of machine learning, um, where we now have much more higher scale and, and a lot more data that's being generated that we can learn from to develop models on to really help with predictive maintenance in a factory, predictive injuries. Our CEO, Adam Salipsky, was just recently on an NFL Network show that I watched last night talking about the, the machine learning and analytics that's going in to help predict and hopefully prevent injuries in the NFL with all the sensors and analytics that's being like collected on the field and on the players and all that. So I would say that there's just generally becoming more predictive and smarter about uh, what's, what, what may happen in the future and preventing it or encouraging more of it, whatever, whatever the context there is. I would say that's one. Uh, analytics in general, as more and more data is generated, being able to look back and do data science on things to try to understand how things came to be the way they were, whether that's forecasting a sales pipeline or whatever the case may be. And then I say another big trend or, or thing that is that is definitely shifting is, you know, we're starting to see the meat of big enterprise companies who are not just doing a couple of new projects or developments or migrating, you know, just one or two data centers or a couple of dozen applications. We're now starting to see some really big companies who are migrating many data centers and or hundreds, if not thousands of applications all at once. So as we sort of move into the heart of that, that uh, transition curve or adoption curve, if you will, you'll see more and more capabilities to help these customers do so in a responsible, well-governed way that helps them sort of understand the, the financial implications of it, the just manage the risk associated with that um, uh, in a much more comprehensive way. Um, so I think those are some of the bigger things that we're seeing. And um, yeah, 